Hey there, I'm Ron Juckett, and welcome to Retro Sports Network's Pro Football 1980. Today, Week 2, the Los Angeles Rams and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from Tampa Stadium in Tampa, Florida. A rematch of the 1979 NFC Championship game in real life. These two teams met in Week 2. And let's go through the starting lineups for both teams. First, the Los Angeles Rams. I don't know why it doesn't say Rams. Uh, the running backs. Cullen Bryant and Elvis Peacock. The wide receivers, Preston Denard and Billy Waddy. The tight end is Victor Hicks. We have no, by the way, no in-game um, usage penalties. So we play them straight out, and I play both the offenses. The quarterback is Vince Ferragamo for the Rams. The tackles, Doug France and Jackie Slater, the Hall of Famer. The guards, Kent Hill and Dennis Hara, and the center will be Rich Saul. Defensive lead... The computer will be playing them, and they're in play at 4-3. The defensive ends, Jack Youngblood and Fred Dreyer, pre-hunter. Uh, for the defensive tackles, Larry Brooks and Mike Fanning for the Rams. The outside linebackers are George Andrews and Jim Youngblood. Jack Reynolds, the inside linebacker. It's a pretty fierce unit. Corners are Pat Thomas and Rod Perry in the corner, and the safeties are Nolan Cromwell and Johnny Johnson. For Tampa, led by Doug Williams. Ricky Bell and Jerry Eckwood are your running backs. Gordon Jones and Kevin House, your wide receivers. Jimmy Giles, a very capable tight end. As we said, Doug Williams is your quarterback. Charlie Hanna and Dave Rivas are your tight are your tackles. Ray Snell and Greg Roberts, your guards. Stephen Wilson, the center. Defensively, it's a 4-3. Leroy Selman. And David Stalls are your defensive ends. David Logan and Bill Collar are your defensive tackles. Dave Lewis and Cecil Johnson, your outside linebackers. Dewey Selman is your inside linebacker. The corners are Mike Washington and Curtis Jordan. And the safeties are Cedric Brown and Mark Cotney. And in a moment, the kickoff on Pro Football 1980. It is 100 degrees in Tampa, Florida, as we get ready for this Week 2 game between the Rams and the Bucks. The Ram, the Bucks have won the toss. They will receive in the first half. That's Davis. You see there deep. That's the orange square on the 7-yard line. For sailing under 15, Reese and, oh, sure, Obradovich are the shortmen. So the Rams will kick it off, I believe... It is Efren Herrera saying, ready to boot it from his own 35. And he kicks it off. Return from the 9-yard line of the 20. 25-30. 32-yard line. Oh, it's Corral. Receiving team. Well, it doesn't matter. Corral is the kicker. Beasley Reese got it at the 9-yard line but fumbled it. He returned it and then was hit at the 32 after a 23-yard return. But Sanders with a hold, it'll be a 14 yard penalty. There, and that was described with the grace and elegance of nothing. So the ball is spotted at the Tampa 13 yard line. Doug Williams is your starting quarterback. As we said, Bell and Eckwood are your running backs. Jones and House, the wide receivers, and Giles, the tight end. And it's Bell on the off tackle left. And it gets across the 25 to the 27-yard line. Offsides, defense. I'm so Number 49, five-yard penalty. I'm sorry. It was just across the 15 to the 18-yard line. But Los Angeles was offside, so we'll get first and five instead from the Tampa 18. Both teams won last week, so they both want to know what breeze there is is going in Los Angeles' favor in the first half. Tampa working from right to left into the wind, variable from 0 to 10. My, not a cloud in the sky, but my God, is it hot. Uh, 
on the on the real season, Williams completed less than fifty percent of his passes for forty eight point eight percent. We're gonna try a hitch to Giles on first and five. Williams back to throw. It is complete to Giles. Cromwell nails him, but he hangs on for a gain of 14. First and 10 from the Tampa 32. Trap left for Bell to call. It gets across the 30 to the 34 for a gain of two. Reynolds with the stop, second down and eight. Tampa was the miracle team of 79. They made it all the way to the NFC Championship game. They hosted the NFC Championship game, as a matter of fact, but lost to these Rams 9-0. The Rams would go on to Super Bowl 14 in Pasadena, the closest that any one team has hosted a Super Bowl game, and lost to the Steelers 31-19. Eckwood on the trap right. Gets across the 35-yard line. Has more to the 40. Fourth down, 45. To the 47-yard line. A gain of 15. Thomas to one of the corners on the stop. Thomas and Cromwell rated 10, by the way. Youngblood, Brooks, and Reynolds are eights along with Perry. That's a pretty solid defense. So first and 10 for the Bucks at their own 49-yard line. Just the start of things here on a scorcher in Tampa. Bell off tackle left. And he gets nothing. He loses a yard. Reynolds with a stop second down and 11. Computer, by the way, is playing the defense. Ray Malavese, the coach of the Rams. John McKay, the coach of Tampa. Second 11. Pitch to Bell on the near side of the screen. He gets across the 50. The 45. Has some more room. Stopped at the 45. At the 43, rather, by Johnson. A gain of nine. Third down and two on a good run. I'm going to try a flat pass to Eckwood. He throws, deflected by Andrews, and incomplete. So fourth down and two. No field goal range here from the 43. Tampa will punt. Tom Blanchard will try a sideline punt. And somehow it rolled in the end zone for a touchback. So 11.04 to go in the first quarter. Rams will spot it at their own 20-yard line. Their first time with the ball. As we said, Bryant and Peacock are the running backs. Denard and Waddy are the wide receivers. Six the tight end. Great offensive line to the left. France, Hill, and Saul are all nines. For Tampa, Selman is a nine. Lewis is an eight. That's... So, lots of running by Colin Bryant. And it starts with a trap to the left. He gets across the 20. The 25, first down and more. 30-yard line, 31-yard line. And Leroy Selman brought him down after a gain of 11. The Rams will work it from left to right. They're the yellow background and the blue numbers. Tampa and their creamsicle orange with white letters. First and 10 for the Rams on their own 31-yard line. And we'll give it to Peacock on the trap to the left. Best of the 35. Gets to the 40. First down and more. Gets to the 43 before Jordan springs him down and gain a 12. So the Rams have run two plays and have two first downs. 23 yards on the ground. Sweep left to Brian. 45. 50. And again a 9 before Selman brought him down. So the Rams have run three plays, and they've run them all for 32 yards. So they're inside the Tampa part of the field. Second down and 1. Long fly to Waddy. Maricamo throws. Incomplete. No catch. Ferragamo. A good year. Completing nearly 60% of his passes. Third down and one. 
Rams will run it. Colin Bryant up the middle, first down of the 45 to the 44-yard line. Jordan on the stop. First and 10, under 8.30 to play in the first quarter. No score. Rams driving it. Elvis Peacock ran for 777 yards in 1980. And Colin Bryan ran for 807. So they're good for about 15 carries apiece. Let's do an off tackle right to Peacock. And it gets across to the 40 yard line. It gets inside the 40 and a little bit more. Gain of eight on that play. Washington with a stop. Cottony couldn't bring him down. Second down and two. Ferragamo is going to go for a medium slant to Preston and Arn, who's got it for a gain of 13 yard line. They'll spot it at the 23 yard line. At the 23, Washington on the stop. So the Rams are just like a hot knife through butter on this hot afternoon in Tampa. Brian on the pitch to the far side. And he gets out of bounds after a gain of two. Selman on the stop, second down and eight. The numbers you see, 99 by Selman, 83 by Stalls. that's their fatigue level. It's a warm one. I'm sure it matters. The Bucks' defensive line is pooped. And it'll be Peacock kind of sweep to the to the right. Gets across the 20 to the 15-yard line. Hicks is shaking up. His return is probable. Gain of four. Clock stops with 6:16 on the in the first quarter. Third down and four from the Tampa 17-yard line. And Frank Corral would have a 56% chance of making it from here if they don't get it. Screen pass to Peacock to the far side. Instead, he is chased around. Ferragamo has a, is knocked down by the pass is knocked down by Collar, and it'll be fourth down and four. 6:08 to go. A 10 play drive stymied right there. And Corral will try the field goal. And the kick is up. And it is no good. It is wide left. So first and 10 for Tampa on their own 20, 6.05 to go. Wish I could tell you what game we're doing for week three of the season, but I haven't looked that far ahead yet. We showed you Williams' numbers. Now, Ricky Bell ran it for 174 times for 599 yards in 1980. And Jerry Eckwood ran it 149 for 504. So the running game is not overly effective here. We'll sweep Eckwood to the right. He gets to the line of scrimmage, pushes a little further, gets about four yards before Youngblood makes the stop. Second down and six from Tampa. On their own 24-yard line, 5.58 to go first quarter. Bell off tackle left. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of one by Reynolds. Axel Reynolds with a stop at the 23-yard line. Third down and seven. Hicks available for Los Angeles. They will play, well, they're playing a 4-3 and so is Tampa. Medium hits to Jones as the call. He throws incomplete. It was tipped by Perry and almost intercepted. So the Bucks have to punt again. Fourth and seven. 4.30 to go in the first quarter. Blanchard's ready. He'll punt this one deep. And the ball is away. Los Angeles will return it at their 35. No, it's a fair catch by Irvin. Not sure which Irvin that is, but he caught it for a fair catch at the 34. That's where the Rams will take over. First and 10, 4.23 to go. Scoreless game, first quarter. Running, running, running. 
Let's see if there's anyone else that needs to get some snaps in. We'll do Gooman, but we won't do with the series. Peacock on an off tackle left. Tampa reads it well. Crowder knocks him down for a one yard loss. Second down and 11 from the Los Angeles 33 yard line. Green pass to Bryant. Incomplete. Tampa rushed, and Ferragamo did not set up properly. So it'll be third down and 11 with 3.31 to go in the first quarter. Ferragamo 1 for 4 for 13. Williams 1 for 3 for 14. Rams go 3 wide. Miller, the third receiver. At 22, Willie Miller at 22 catches on the year. Let's do a hut, hut. medium cross. Ferragamo's pressure. He throws incomplete. Cottony got a piece of it, but the Rams will have to punt with 3:24 to go. Not a great start for Ferragamo. So Frank Corral will punt. We'll try to punt a deep kicker into the wind. Beasley Reese will be back to return it. And he gets the punt away. It's short. Reese has it at the 30, but he'll call for a fair catch, and it rolls dead at the 28-yard line. Punt of 39, and so it'll be first and 10 for Tampa on their own 28. So no other real, ooh, no other real running back. So it's Bell and Eckwood. Tampa will try a long fly past the Jones, but Williams will scramble. There wasn't anything there, and he gets a gain of one before Reynolds knocks him down. Second down and nine from the Tampa 29. And Greg Bell gets a sweep to the near side, and he breaks one tackle, gets across the 30-yard line before Reynolds makes a stop at the 32. Third down and six. And try a screen to Eckwood to the near side on third and six. He has it complete to the 35 to the 37-yard line. It's a gain of five. Reynolds with the stop, no first down. That's only Williams' second complete pass. And again, Tampa will punt because they're pretty deep in their own territory. And so Irvin is the return man for Los Angeles. Blanchard will punt this one deep. And it will be inside the 20, and we'll try a return. From the 17-yard line of the 20, 25, Irvin gets to the 27, a gain of 11, 47-yard punt, 11-yard return. Quick math tells you that's a net of 36. First and 10 for the Rams with a minute 5 to go in the first quarter. Try medium hitch to Denard. Throws. Denard went one way. Ferragamo went the other. Second down and 10. 57 seconds left. Not sure if we'll get the Rams at home this year, but this was the first season that they played in Anaheim. They left the Coliseum after, goodness, they have moved there in 45 and played till 79. So 35 years they played at the Coliseum, which is where they're playing right now. They're back. Hot! 
Peacock on a trap to the right. Gets across the 30-yard line. It is 33-2 before Lewis can make the stop. 49 seconds left. It'll be time for one more play. And I'm going to do a screen to Bryant to the near side. Paragon will throw as Bryant has it. First down, gain of six. So there will not be a play here. Brown with a tackle. And so, theoretically, they would switch ends, but you won't see it on the display. But after one quarter, no score. So from their 38, Ferragamo, 2 for 7 for 19 in the quarter. Oof. Rams have 73 yards offense net, and Tampa has 51 And Bryant will get a pitch to the left. Cross the 40 to the 45. He gets close to a first down, but Jordan stops him for a gain of nine. And the Rams have ran the ball 10 times so far this afternoon and have made 63 yards off it. Tampa just hasn't stopped him. Second and one. And a medium fly to Waddy. He's got it again, a 13 and out of bounds at the Tampa 40. 14 13 to go in the first half. How about that? So, Ferragama now 3 for 8 for 32 yards. Um, let's go Colin Bryant on a left trap. Give us to Bryant. Gets across the 40 to the 35. Gets a first down to the 30-yard line. Selman with a stop again at 10. Tampa just can't stop anything that on the ground. 11 rushes for 73 yards. To a trap right to Peacock. Across to the 30-yard line of the 25. He's got room inside the 20. First and 10 to the 17-yard line where Cotney makes the stop. A gain of 13. Wow. So, let's see. Do we try a pass? Yeah. Medium cross to Hitch. Ferragamo throws. He's checked down to Peacock, who runs it down to the four-yard line. Peacock caught it at the 10, who got to the four, before Johnson took him down after a gain of 13. So first and goal for the Rams, with less than 12 and a half to go. There go. Pitch left to Peacock on the upper part of the screen, and he scores. It's a touchdown. He really couldn't see it, but he just waltzes in, and that's six points for the Rams. So here is Corral for the extra point. Pick is up, and it is good. So with 11.47 to go in the first half, the Los Angeles Rams lead the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 7-0. On a nine-play, 73-yard drive. Rams kick it deep. Return at the goal line to the 10. 15, where Davis is stopped by Eckern. Right then and there. 11.39 to go in the first half. And I'm going to give a sweep right to Eckerd. Eckwood, who gets across to the 20-yard line, gets more than that. 25, he's a gain of 9 before Youngblood makes the stop. Second down and 1. Buccaneers have 41 yards on 9 rushes. So that's pretty good. Medium cross to Ball House. Start. Nope. Offense. Number 75, five-yard penalty. Revis moves early, and so it'll be second down and six. Tampa was trying to take advantage of that second and one to see if they can get the Rams to soften up a bit. So 
So second and six, 10.55 to go in the first half. And it'll be a sweep. False start. Well, offense. Again. Number 89, five yard penalty. Repeat. The wide receiver down. house. Are you kidding? That's not his picture. Are you kidding me? So it's now second and 11. They're going to actually, those two plays will push him back to their own 15 yard line. Equidon again. Offense. Number 88, five yard penalty. Repeat, second down. Well, when they started 0 and 27 or whatever it was in uh, 1976 and 77, they asked John McKay what he thought about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers' execution, and he said, "Yes, I think they should be." And the last three plays kind of tell that tale: three straight false starts. He dropped one to Ricky Bell. Oh my goodness, I get the play off. He gets about three to the 13-yard line. Third down and 13 from the Tampa Bay 13. So after three straight, it was second and one, three straight false start penalties, Tampa can actually run a play. Screen to Eckwood is the call, and it's complete. And he gets to the 20, he gets a first down, he gets a gain of 14 before Nolan Cromwell brings him down. Wow, they dig out of it. It was third down and, wow, that's great. Third and long, and they get out of it. Okay, first and 10, under 10 minutes to go. You don't see the real clock until the play snaps. So we're going to say about nine and a half to go here in this first half. Rams 7 nothing over the Bucks. Medium hitch to Jones is the call, and he's got it for a gain of 11 yards. Thomas with a stop, first and 10. We now go under nine minutes to go in the first half as Tampa finally is moving the football. Off tackle left to Equid is the call. He gets across the 40-yard line to the 43 where Youngblood knocks him down. I can't tell you which one. It's a gain of five. Second down and five. Tampa taking their time on this 100-degree afternoon in Tampa. Bell on the left trip. He gets the first down after a gain of five. Youngblood on the stop. So the Bucks get another first down. This looks a little bit better. Slant the house from their own 48. Instead, Williams will take off and run with it. He gains one before Brooks makes the stop, second down and nine. Let's run that play again. This time he'll throw it. And oh my goodness, he had house open on the delayed blitz. But Youngblood reached up and got a hand on it. Third down and nine. 626 to go, first half. Tampa has it on their own 49, and we'll go three wide. Isaac Higgins is the, is the third wide receiver, and we're going to try uh, medium out to him. Williams to throw it, has time, looks down. Oh, my goodness, almost intercepted. No catch. Irvin with great coverage, but House is injured. And he's leaving the field, so he'll be back probably in the second half. Blanchard to punt, and they'll do a sideline punt. A reset, 15 plays. There may be 15 plays left in this quarter. Punt is away. It's a good one. 
Inside, returned by Irvin, who fumbles the football. Who's got it? Recovered by Irvin. So it's a gain of three. Ball will be spotted at the Rams' 22-yard line. Wilson with a stop in the forced fumble, but Irvin recovered his own miscue, and the Rams will keep possession 6.17 to go. Going to shove Peacock out, I think. Who is shoving out? Yep. For Mike Goodman. They'll get some carries, including a trap right here. Goodman, 44, gets the ball, gets across the 25 to the 30. He's going to first down and more. Gain of 12 before Washington makes the stop. Whatever the Rams are doing on the ground, Tampa cannot stop them. 102 yards now for the Rams on the ground. Only 45 in the air. Bryant on the off tackle left. Gets across the 35 to the 40-yard line. A gain of six before Selman makes the stop. Second down and four. Helen Bryant, seven carries, 51 yards. Medium cross to the darn is the call. He's got it and is going to go all the way. 20-yard line, 18-yard line. Not quite all the way. He shook off Washington and gained 42. Caught, caught it at the 49-yard line and scampers down to the 18. So first and 10 with under 439 to go. Gooman will sweep it to the right. Gets across to the 15-yard line. Digs his way to the 10. Fits a first down. Stopped by Johnson. It's a gain of 8. So Ferragamo is now 5 of 10 today for 87 yards. Goodman, 2 carries for 22. The Rams have 205 yards in that offense in this first half. Going to pitch right to Goodman. And the Bucks read that one. Stalls with a stop, no gain, second down and 12. Or second down and goal from the 8 yard line. 312 and change, under 312 to go. Fergamo wants Waddy in the end zone. He's. The, oh my goodness. Pass interference, defense. Number 25, automatic, first down. It went through his hands, but Jordan interfered. So it'll be first and goal from the Tampa Bay 1. With 2.36 to go. Two tight ends set, two running backs set. Peacock back in the game. And there'll be a dive by Peacock. And he waltzes in the end zone for six. So the Rams score again. And speaking of Rams, they have rammed their, their running backs through the Tampa Bay def defense. 119 yards on the ground. Corral's extra point is good. So, as Davis sets up for the return, two and a half to go. Los Angeles 14, Tampa nothing. Corral's kick will be returned from three yards deep. Irvin to the five. 10, 15, not quite to a Davis, pardon me. He gets to the 18-yard line, and that will be where Tampa sets up shop with 224. Oh, going to do a screen pass to Ricky Bell. On the audible, first audible today. 
Bell's got it to the 20, to the 27 yard line before Norman Nolan Cromwell knocks him down again and gain a nine and we'll take the two minute warning. Williams now, Doug Williams now, five for nine for 53 yards. Mucker, by the way, is the other wide receiver. Second down and one for Tampa. Ferragamo, five for 10 for 87 yards. Give the bell on the off tackle. They want the first down. They get it. He gets across the 30 to the 33. Six thirty-three. Personal foul. Offense number seventy-three. But Hannah with a face slap gets a personal foul. So the clock stops. I believe it's the first down. Nope. It is not. There's no play. It's second down in fifteen from the Tampa thirteen with a minute forty-nine to go. So to a draw, play to Bell. Gets across the 15 to the 17 yard line. House is back. Rams call time. They have two timeouts left. Tampa has three. And let's, what are we going to call for Kevin House here? Still a medium hitch. 39. Williams. Dumps it down to Eckwood. A bell, pardon me, gets a first down, a gain of 11. So, Tampa calls hurry up. Gonna do a medium fly to Giles. Williams to throw. He's got Giles, who's got a first down, a gain of 14. Irvin with a stop. Tampa remains in the hurry up. A long slant to Jones. 54 seconds left. And it's a check down. Jones wants a flag, can't get it. So 44 seconds left. Second down and 10. From the Tampa 44 yard line. They trail 14 0. So Haggins comes in again as the third receiver. Three wide for Tampa. They have not used the timeout. Short hitch to House is the call. He's got it. Gain of eight. And Tampa will call time inside the Los Angeles half of the field. 36 seconds to play in the half. Williams, 8 for 13 for 86 yards. Dryer and Fanning are tired. As I said, it's brutal. It's 100 degrees here. Medium hitch to Haggins is the call. Williams throws incomplete. So fourth down and two. Tampa, I imagine, will go for it here. They're not in field goal range. And so Williams will take it himself on the sweep. Gets the first down. Gets across to the 40-yard line. Has some war room. He gets out of bounds at the 32-yard line. A gain of 16. Cromwell knocks him out. 20 seconds to play in the half. Now, need another quick little pass here. The house is the call. Short little out the house. He's got it again at 10, 14 seconds. Timeout coming. So first and 10 from the Ram 22 yard line. Tampa knocking on the door here at home. They should get three out of it. They can stop it once. So let's try one in the end zone.
four wide. Eckwood, the running back. Jones, House, Haggins, and Mucker, the wide receivers. I'm going to try a long slant to Haggins. Williams to throw. Has time. Does not have a man, so three seconds left. Incomplete pass, and so there will be a field goal attempt here to end the first half. So, Garrow, your premium from 39 yards to end the first half. And to put Tampa on the board. He's got the wind. He's kicking into it. Good snap, good hold, and the kick drifts to the right. So, at the end of the first half, it's the Los Angeles Rams 14. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, nothing. All right, before we let you go for the end of the first half in the first part of this video, the two scoring plays, the Rams have all the points. Elvis Peacock in a four-yard run with 11.47 to go in the first half was the first score, and then with two and a half to go, a one-yard plunge, to give the Rams a 14-point lead. Two big drives, 9 for 73 and 7 for 78. Rams have 15 first down to Tampa's 9. They've run it 18 times for 119 yards. Tampa 15 for 77. Surprisingly, Tampa has time of possession, 15-51 to 14-09. The offense, 206 for the Rams, 173 for the Bucks. Ferragamo, 5 for 10 for L.A. for 87 yards. Doug Williams for Tampa, 9 for 16 for 96. Colin Bryant, 7 carries for 51. He's the leading rusher for the Rams. Eckwood, the leading rusher for the Bucks, 4 carries for 33 yards. Receiving Bell, Eckwood, and Giles have two catches aside for Tampa. Preston and artist Preston Denard has two catches for the Rams for 55 yards. Reynolds has six tackles and two stuffs for the Rams. He's their defensive leader. Dewey Selman, four care four tackles. The leading tackler for Tampa Bay. So that's the first half for this one. When we start in the second half, we're gonna do something unusual. I was gonna go play the rest of the games. Um, we'll let you know what we're doing for week three. So until then, the second half is coming up on Retro Sports. I'm Ron Juckett. We'll talk to you.